How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and yes this is all about the loot. We're going to look at the best way to farm for legendaries and masterwork items. So after looking back at my recent video regarding the drop rate update and everything else there's been a bunch of people on there that have basically been complaining that there's been no difference to the drop rates, they've seen no difference, they're still getting single items here, they're getting no items there and no matter what they do the drop rate simply hasn't improved. Well I'm here to tell you that that is as far from the truth as possible because if you want your inventory to look like this or your reward screen to look like this then you've pretty much come to the right place right so let's get this all out into the open legendary contracts are by far the worst thing to do when it comes to farming no matter how many i do i seem to have the worst possible luck to get items that I actually want, being masterwork and legendary. No matter what I do, I may get the occasional masterwork item here and the occasional masterwork item there, but let's face it, after 7, 10, 12 legendary contracts, I simply just don't get anything outside of the reward. So legendary contracts are wah, wah. Strongholds. Strongholds are actually a mixed bag. You can have a run where you get quite a good number. You could have a run where you pretty much walk out with the bare minimum. But strongholds, in my opinion, have a better drop rate than the actual contracts. I don't know why, but I just believe and I feel based on what I've played, based on what I've played, that is, I'm not saying this is paramount. I am not going into any scientific definition here, but based on my experience, Legendary contracts have been bad for me, strongholds have been decent. Now, me and my friend decided, hey, let's just go out into free play and give it a whirl. I go out, first mob I kill, I get a legendary, so that's a good start, right? So anyway, we're playing along and going along, masterworks are dropping, but no more legendaries. But at least I'm getting masterworks, right? So we get an invite from a friend. We go in there and boom! After a few mobs, I get another legendary. This is free play, GM2. So, we're out there killing off. By the end of about an hour and a half, this inventory screen that you're seeing here is basically what I got in an hour and a half's haul. Yeah, sure. The guy that joined me, he got nothing. I pretty much took all this stuff. Well, he got masterworks, but he didn't get any legendary. But to me, right now, based on this, and based on what I'm hearing around the internet, based on what I'm hearing from my Discord, from people that are constantly playing the game, and from people that are playing the legendary contracts, the strongholds, and everything else, free play seems to be where you have the best chance. Mainly because you're constantly killing for that hour and a half, right? If you're there for an hour and a half, two hours, you're constantly killing. You're flying around doing world events, you're seeing mobs, everything that you can kill, even grab it have a chance to drop a masterwork or a legendary item. And that has been proven apparently, I didn't know that. But apparently, it can, and there is a video out there showing this. If you find it, link it. I really do want to see it, because I haven't found it. That aside, really, I mean, free play seems to be the place to be. Free play GM2 right now. On the topic of stronghold bosses, I've been told today that literally they are still running on the GM1 drop rates, so this is something that they're working on. And hopefully the update that's coming soon is actually going to fix that and revert that. But as of right now, from what I'm told, the stronghold bosses are on GM1 drop rates. So that kind of sucks. So they do need to fix that. But that aside, if you want to get the best loot, if you want to get the fastest loot, and if you want to be showered with masterworks and legendaries, go into free play, GM2 or GM3 if you can handle it and start killing everything. Go into the dungeons, kill everything. Don't pick up the blues, don't pick up the purples. Just pick up the masterworks and the legendaries. Some of them are gonna be unavoidable, obviously, especially if you're a thick boy colossus like me, you're pretty much gonna dive in head first, slam the ground, and sadly, you're gonna pick up some as you go along, as you can see from the purples here. But honestly, if you wanna see an inventory looking like this, or if you want to see a reward screen looking like this, dive into free play. It is the best way to get masterwork and legendary loot at the moment. The only reason I can say that the drop rate is higher here when it actually isn't is the fact that you're killing more mobs in a short space of time. 
The mobs in Strongholds and the mobs in Legendary Contracts seem to have lower drop rates because you've guaranteed a reward at the end. With free play, you're guaranteed no reward. Therefore, every mob has an equal chance, a random roll, to drop you an item that is greater than purple. And because of that, it has, in my opinion, the best loot chance to get. So, free play, GM2, that is where you want to be. That is the best farming method. And if you do this, I'm pretty sure, much like me, you will walk away with a much needed full inventory with all the good stuff. Just don't tell the guy that was with me, because yeah, he didn't get any legendaries, and he was a bit sour. But you know what? I got free, and this just proves that this method does work. The other guy next to me, Mario, he got two. Again, in the hour and a half that we were there. We were there for an hour, hour and a half. I got three, he got two. That was five legendaries between us in an hour and a half. From two different people, not one. So go out there, try it out, and believe me, it works. Free play is the place to be when you want to be farming for legendary and masterwork items. Right guys, let me know in the comment section below how you feel, how you get on with this, what luck you have, and let me know what items you got. You know. Share your findings. Did you get masterworks? Did you get legendaries? How many did you get in an hour? Share all that information in the comment section below and let's start spreading the wealth. Right, thanks for watching and until next time, keep watching this screen and then envisioning this screen and I'll see you in the next Anthem video. Remain legend.